All right, a little bit different than the usual intro. For these next sets of heats, we had a bit of an open mic on the Discord channel where four different commentators basically were all able to share their views on ships and commentate as the matches went on. Hope you enjoy it. Ooh, I like the look of that one. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the ugly class. Looks very enough. French. A little bit, doesn't it? Very French. Yeah, so originally, oui, oui. before it got updated, it actually had uh, three smoke stacks, but we uh, we added a little bit of firepower to it. But I love the look of it. I, I really like the uh, the extra belt armor down beneath and the secondaries uh -huh. they've got mounted up on it. It's just great. And then we've already seen the wave breaker, which I think is actually kind of fun that they took the river home and... Wasn't the River Home originally a campaign craft? I'm not crazy. Like that. Yeah, it it's somewhere in there. Okay, I thought so. And they just they made this into a um, a prefab hull like out of the craft that already existed. Mhm. Mm okay, I knew I wasn't insane. I knew the River Home was was like an actual craft. All right. Mm. So sanity's a relative thing, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then your relatives are just sometimes quite insane so <clears throat> all right so i guess this is actually going to be uh round six and it's going to be the final one of the first set of heats and do you want to just hop into it or do you want to take a closer look at them uh are, you're recording right now correct yes uh can we have a look at the other one over there absolutely so this was uh, BWI's Wave Breaker. The, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I remember seeing this. He made a very nice looking ship here. He really did. I, I think the aesthetics of it are great. It's I had to kind of talk them into <clears throat> being willing to update it, the AI and stuff because they thought it would be unfair. And I'm like, no, I don't I don't want you to be watching this thing. Like, clearly you spent time on it. I don't I don't want you to be watching it just like close in forever. Uh, I believe one of our guest commentators just showed up. Hello, Bob. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Howdy. Can you hear me? <clears throat> yeah. Perfectly. How's it going? How you doing? I just got up and having my first coffee. Sorry, I couldn't join you any earlier, but I'm an old person. That's okay. Hey, you actually we got here just in time. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. What would you say? You're just in time, honestly. Oh, excellent! Yeah, this yeah. is this is the first uh, the first of the actual recordings, so perfect timing. Excellent. We were Some just hot uh, ironclad on ironclad action. Yes, a little sir. Bit. Yeah, yeah. The uh, river home definitely just... has big ironclad energy, doesn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> we were just looking over the contestants in this round of the ma the uh, tournament here. Yeah. So we've got updated. Um, the updated wave breaker it's got an auxiliary prop down here just in case these get blown off it's not you know completely uh i can't say uh, blame them for doing that <laughs> no the it's these are these can be so unreliable they can get you going so fast so easy but they're vulnerable a uh, little bit of mm -hmm. roll no, control. Let's, uh, let's ask how how um uh thicker being on the um not using screw propulsion but i guess that answers my question yeah Oh yeah, no, it 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 only had the uh, the paddle wheels before, yeah. Uh, had some sizable deck over there too. Yep. We've got um, over here the lay ugly, which is a very ironic name because it's actually got a very pretty shape to it. Yes, yeah, so we were just discussing how French it looked earlier. Yeah, it's got that lovely thick kind of torpedo barrier. Uh, sides to it and i think with this one um it got a little bit of up armoring a little bit of redundant ai and we removed some of the smokestacks to give it a little bit more firepower um originally it had like this kind of cool three smokestack with a little bit of extra kind of spiring and detection towers and stuff going on but it took up so much volume that there wasn't a lot left in terms of firepower and uh you know sometimes one thing has to win out over the other right 
course. No, now those are crams. Uh, no, that one? so these are the max gauge allowed. These are uh, three. Uh, three oh five. They're either three oh two or three oh four, and I believe they fire at fourteen rounds per minute, which is max end for it. And they are APHE, pretty nasty payload. Um, they've got four of those, uh, two secondaries, which I believe are pure HE. And then they've got the uh, a whole bunch of little 93 millimeter howitzers and the casemates all along the side, which I believe also shoot pure HE. By the way, welcome back, Fish. I can speak now. Awesome. All right, should we go ahead and see how they get going? Uh, yeah. Cool. Let's do it. So, uh, I'm kind of leaning towards BWI's design here, I think, just because it has more DACA. It does have more DACA, but it definitely did not enjoy the first <laughs> Never volley. mind. Oh, man, yeah, two turrets got taken out by the APHE. That was a really, Ow. really nasty Yeah, I guess it went center of mass first. Ooh, there goes another one. Yeah. Yeah. Those are big APHE rounds, man. <clears throat> Some... There goes one of the paddles. I think that's actually the second. I think it went all the way oh. through. Oh, the last gun's gone. I think it went all the way through and damaged this one. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yikes. Um, yeah, this one, actually, we ended up getting this thing up to over, like, 110, 120 firepower. It was mm. it was a big overhaul. It started out at, like, 50% armor cost, and I think we took it down to 20%. Wow. Wow. Well, unfortunately, I think the river home has largely been defanged here. <laughs> fly, torpedoes, fly! That was some really, really fortunate slash unfortunate aim point selection. Mm -hmm. It basically just nailed all of the guns right off the bat. Hello, Ian. And Mark III just joined us. Howdy. Uh, just hey. so you. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say for those who are watching at home, we're kind of doing a drop in, drop out with a commentary for the tournament here. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to bring a few more voices in. I've been kind of slightly rushing through things anyway, um, just because my schedule can be so wild. So this was this seemed like a really fun way to do it. Fortunately, we, we seem to have about the same schedule, so... Yes, <laughs> night shifts. <laughs> Darn. Wow. Um... God. I think my vote to bring something back in is probably going to be on the Wavebreaker. This was a really unfortunate round. That just... Damn. I wonder if the torpedoes did anything. I think I saw one hit, but, um... No, the, I mean, and now their local weapon controller is just dead. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But talk about golden BBs, man. The first volley just took out... Damn. Yeah, it looks like he got one into the actual uh, top of the turret itself, but it probably just blew all that apart. Yeah, I think I think that's what happened. Is the yeah the increasers are just yeah the firing mm -hmm. pieces are they're just gone. God, I oh he probably cut, huh. oh yeah it looks like he cut one in the neck of the turret. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and then of course immediately he just went in and sniped the turrets out through here. God, that's just mm hmm. hmm. Very unfortunate. That is an unfortunate start. Uh, that's a great start for Sam's, though. <laughs> their uh, their ugly class did fantastic. I mean, you can see the damage that the uh, 
the short period of time the Wave Breaker did have its armaments for, it um it managed to punch some pretty nasty holes in here. Yes, it did. I I think yeah I think this here was from torpedoes. I think that's where I saw it hit. What were you saying, Ion? <laughs> Looks like mostly just um, buoyancy tanks and things like that. So didn't hit the main armor belt from the looks of it. Yes. Yeah, I'd agree. I think uh, Wavebreaker's despawning. Uh, it is getting close to it. Yeah. That's basically uh, the end of the round. Uh, for a second there, I thought it might have gotten 80 and sinking, but I guess not. Well, so I set it a little bit lower than that in sinking. I think... Um, I think I have disqualification under 55% health, and then if you end up low, you start getting DQ points, period. But I think the health limit while sinking is 65%. But um, okay. it's still, uh, it's very buoyant. It's got these huge wood pontoon stability things on it that tend to keep it up. Mm -hmm. And um, apparently this steam prop is still going strong. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised the AI has been sniped yet. Um, actually, yeah. Where is it? I'm oh, sorry, Fish, what were you going to say there? Uh, I'm just trying to do this that I'm not simultaneously uh, deafened by me running from depths and still able to hear uh, what you two are saying. Okay. Audio balance. Yeah. I guess we can actually probably go ahead and call it there. It looks like even the secondaries have all been stripped off now of the wave breaker. Yeah, there's no real way for it to fight back right now. Oh, there goes that turret finally. Yeah. <laughs> the armor held out for a really long time. Uh at the wrong time. <laughs> Dang. It still has a paddle wheel because it closed the ramp. So let me take a... Drive me close, I want to hit it with my sword. 